if your code actually makes the database call to request the connection, and your code has to wait, what does that do to all the other JavaScript tasks in the queue? They all get blocked. And that right there, coding for that scenario, is what makes working with JavaScript so hard to do. Because now, instead of you relying upon this surrounding container to manage those threads for you so there's no, there's no unnecessary blocking, you now have to write a ton of code to support that process, to manage that process and set up those tasks. So think about it like this. Let's say opening a database connection. That would be an asynchronous operation, right? Because you're reaching out to an external resource just as you mentioned. So if I pass a callback function into my connection operation and connect to it, and then I make my connection, it then runs my callback function that we were talking about here. Where does my connection object exist? Does my connection object exist in my application as a whole or just inside of my callback function? Just inside the callback function. So does that mean I have to place the entire application inside of my callback function? Think about it. In the end, the answer is no. But if you don't understand asynchronous programming, and you don't understand the, the tools and techniques that JavaScript provides you to deal with that scenario, guess what you would think you'd have to do? Put your entire program in the callback function. But what you don't realize is that every single external resource you talk to, whether it's a database, whether it's the file system, other networking types of activities, these various timer functions, all of these things are all asynchronous in nature. Think about your average Java program or Python program or whatever you've worked on in the past. Most of your code was what? Talking to databases, talking to external resources, tying pieces together, right? So now imagine having to compensate for all of that, but in your JavaScript code with all these callback functions and other mechanisms. And that's where JavaScript and node programming becomes difficult because you have to manage all of that stuff. 